Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from javascript.info, the modern JavaScript tutorial. We are now working on section 2.10, conditional operators, the statement, and it's short by question mark. And when you go through this lesson, you'll learn all the different ways to write an if statement. In my code, I'm going to focus on the most common way and let the tutorial take care of the shortcuts. Here's my short little web page that we've been working on. We're not working on the input boxes yet, but rather just logging still to the console. In my JavaScript, I'm declaring a variable named major, and I'm setting it equal to a prompt, what is your college major? Then in the console, I'm going to log out your major is, and whatever they've typed into the prompt, the major variable. And then here's where the if statement comes in. After the if statement, we have to do a test. And the test is going to turn out true or false based on the comparison that's happening inside the parentheses. If the major variable is equal, triple equal to computers, and we learned about the triple equal and comparison operators in the previous tutorial, we want the script, console log, you get to solve problems, and show me the money. And at that point, because that part of the statement was true, we wouldn't even look at these else if clauses. But if this test turns out false, then we skip down to the next branch, which is the next else if, and do the second test. Is the major equal to biology? If so, we're going to console log out, are you considering healthcare? If both of the first two tests are false, then we'll try a third test. Is the major equal to business? And if that's true, we'll console log, consider adding some computer science. If the major is not equal to any one of these three tests, if all three tests are false, then no code is run. In our second if clause, I've let desired salary be assigned to the prompt, what is your desired salary? So that's going to be a number. Then I'm going to console log out the desired salary is the text and the desired salary variable. And in this test, I'm going to say if desired salary is greater than 50,000, then log out consider computer science. Else, console log out, be careful with college debt. Now notice in this case, I have both a true and a false branch of the test. If the test is true, we'll console log consider computer science. If the test is false with the else clause, we'll console log be careful with college debt. In the first if clause, there's no final else clause. If all three tests were false, I would have to add an else clause and we'll console log all tests are false. Let's save and run this code and see how it works. Here's our first prompt. I'm going to type in computers. Your major is computers. You get to solve problems. Show me the money. So this portion of the branch ran, and it drops out of the entire if construct and moves down to statement 17. What is your desired salary? I'll say it's 51000 And the console then logged desired salary is and the desired salary value. And the first if statement again ran because the first test was true. Let's run it again and say... What is your college major? This time I'll try biology. The branch where major is equal to computers did not run. And the branch where major is equal to biology did run. And I got console log. Are you considering healthcare? And on this on desired salary, I'll put in 49000 And my desired salary is 49000 I'm to be careful with college debt. So the if statement helps you branch between multiple options. Now let me show you one of the most common errors in an if statement. And it's like this. It's for the person who does not realize that the equal sign in JavaScript and in most other modern languages is an assignment statement. So look at this. If major is assigned to computers, that expression will always evaluate true. It doesn't matter what I type in for major. At this point in time, major is going to be reassigned to computers. That's going to be true. And I'm going to get these two console logs. Let me prove that to you by saving and refreshing. What is your college major? I'll just put in a bunch of X's to make my point. Click OK. Next console log proves that I did type in X's for the major variable. But look here. These two statements are now logging out. Major was XXX on line 5, but was reassigned to computers, which is true, on line 6. And so that's why this portion of the branch ran. So be very careful when you're doing an if statement and you're trying to compare something for equality. Use the triple equals to make sure that major is equal to computers, both in value and in data type. Thank you.